Bethany Goldsmith, young woman who was born in Elgin in 1927, uh, best played sandlot ball with the neighborhood boys. She eventually organized the softball team for the McGraw Electric uh, Company when she was a teenager. She graduated with the Elgin High School class of 1944, then became one of two Elginites that became members of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. That was founded, of course, by Chicago Cubs owner Philip Wrigley. Uh, and they were subject to the movie A League of Their Own. Beth was actually encouraged to try out for the All-American Girls League by the other Elginite who played, Charlene Barnett. So she tried out in Florida and was assigned to the Kenosha Comets, where she played for three years. Uh, because of her strong arm, she became a pitcher for Kenosha. Uh, from 1948 to 1950. Uh, during that time, she also had the wonderful opportunity of touring in Central America with a team from the All-American Girls League. Uh, they were feeded by government officials, including Nicaragua, Nicaraguan President Anastasio Somoza. After her baseball career, Beth Goldsmith settled down in Florida. She worked for the Southern Bell Telephone AT&T Company for 30 years. And as I found out this week, she actually contributed to the establishment of our nation's 911 system. <laughs> Bethany is remembered by her cousin as a tomboy, usually in the middle of all the physical activity at family gatherings, remembered by others for her athleticism, for her love of sports, especially golf, her positive spirit, and her sense of humor. Since Bethany's nephew and his family cannot be here, they're in Florida. They recently had hurricane damage there, which they're still dealing with. Uh, it's my pleasure at this time uh, to ask Katie Carter Potts to come up here to accept the induction plaque on behalf of the Goldsmith family. Uh, Katie was the one, going back about nine or 10 years when she was on the Elgin Sports Hall of Fame Board of Directors, who, um, of course, Katie was inducted for softball. But she had noticed that we had Charlene Barnett in the Hall of Fame uh, for baseball from the All-American Girls. And due to some research that she did, she discovered that we had two Elginites who played in this league, the second being Bethany Goldsmith. And that led to Bethany being put on the ballot. Or possibly today, we may still not have known that Bethany was part of this league. So Katie, would you please come up and accept the induction plaque? <laughs> Thank you. I'd just like to say that it's an honor to accept this on behalf of Bethany's family, and I have some words that, um, that her um, family have written that I'm going to read to you. It is a great honor for our aunt, Bethany Goldsmith, to be inducted into the Elgin Sports Hall of Fame. Beth was a strong, smart, special lady. She was proud of her baseball history, but also very shy about it. During her career, she kept very detailed baseball records and compiled two scrapbooks full of memories, pictures, and letters to her parents. Many of the photos I have sent are scans of some of this wonderful history. Not only was Beth a pitcher, but a businesswoman. Beth would help players collect their pay and allowances according to their contracts. After baseball, Beth worked at the Elgin Watch Factory with some of her baseball friends. Not only did Beth excel in baseball, but she excelled, excelled in the business world. She broke the glass ceiling as Bell South Telephone Company was the highest ranking woman in the company for many years. Beth loved her family, her cat, and playing golf. She won many tournaments, including the FWSGA Senior Championship in 1992. Thank you for honoring her, Cindy and Joe Goldsmith.